Hey gang, it's Will from Tested, and I'm here at Maker Faire 2015 with the guys who made, well, a gigantic killer death robot behind me. Um, can you can you guys tell me a little bit about the Megabot, the Megabot, a Megabot, just Megabot? Yeah. Sure. Uh, the Megabot is the first prototype that the company name Megabots uh, has created. So this is actually a company we're, we're creating giant fighting robots, um, and this is the kind of the world premiere of our first full-scale mobile double weapon two people sits inside of it, uh, Megabot. So you guys played a lot of Mech Warrior that's, growing up. That's that's correct. Okay. That's like Mech Warrior 2 onwards all the way through Mech Warrior Online. Um, what's the goal with, with the Megabots? Are you trying to make killer death robots or are you making entertainment death robots? Yeah, so, so both. Uh, basically the idea is the long-term vision is we're making a giant robot sports league. So we want people to go to stadiums and see walking versions of these guys playing a giant game of paintball, blowing off armor panels, like <laughs> limbs falling off. It should look like live action mech warrior on a playing field with walking humanoids that are 15 feet tall, this, piloted by two people. This is a dream I can get behind. <laughs> two, uh, two people in the cockpit? Uh, the person in the front is the gunner, and the person in the back is the driver. Uh, typically in like mech warrior, you have one person doing both of those roles, and we found that like when we were playing those games, a lot of times you turn the torso sideways, and then you keep walking, and you're not really paying attention to where the mech is walking and you run into all kinds of buildings and other players and stuff like that so we wanted to separate those two roles so that each person could focus on those specific roles so that's why we divided it up um, the person in the back can't see out that well so we've attached cameras to the base of the robot so the person in the back is actually looking at these monitors as they steer the robot and the person in the front is placing the guns and, and firing them so what's the basis for the robot it looks like it looks like you have uh, like tank treads almost like on a bobcat or a caterpillar front end loader or something like that yeah so we pulled the treads off of a cat 289c skid steer mm -hmm. um, and then attached them to our own custom frame and built the leg mechanisms uh, from scratch and attached them to the torso through a slew gear that you might see on a, or a slew, slew bearing you might see on an excavator. Um, so then, how how do you build go about building like controls for stuff like this? Are you are you do, using like off the shelf microcontrollers? Are you doing all custom stuff? Um, so the controls uh, is actually uh, like there's a valve stack ups that we got from Dan Foss. So um, they're just like proportional spool valves for the hydraulics. Those are controlled by a can open enabled. Uh, can controller that Miratron makes and then there's actually a laptop in there that talks over the CAN bus to those Miratron controllers So everything sort of happens over the CAN bus um, and then essentially inside the laptop um, a copy of ROS robot operating system is running um, Doing all the position monitoring and stuff like that and fluid flow all that So, so you're so it's not just a pure hydraulic or electronic system you're using you, it's, it's every bit about it smart uh, so the actuation is all hydraulic, but it is uh, the controllers for those hydraulic actuators are electronically controlled. So then let's talk about weapons. You have uh, guns on each arm. I'm, it looks like somebody's out, out uh, uh, either packing or cleaning a tube behind me. I can't tell which. Yeah, so the weapons are all pneumatic, meaning high pressure air. Um, so these are like the biggest potato cannons you know the world has ever seen. Um, but instead of potatoes, we shoot giant paintballs. Um, this one is actually especially cool because we had a kind of crowdsource campaign to build the left arm that we ran in collaboration with Autodesk. Um, so uh, one lucky guy got to see his design built by us and tested here at Maker Fair, and it's really a, a, re a beautiful revolving mechanism uh, in there. It holds 11 shots, um, and there's uh, pneumatic seals that engage and a stepper motor that rotates the magazine, um, and it's really a, a pretty impressive piece of engineering. Very cool. Can we climb up inside and see what it looks like? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, that's the. Oh, hey, it's the SciTech X52, the the main controller of of uh, well, space flight sims and every movie ever. Yep. It seems like. Is this what you're really using this to drive? That's awesome. That's those are the uh, gun positioners, right? Okay. So like. The joysticks tie both arms together so we can kind of point them in. We can uh, adjust them individually if we need to. So in the back, uh, I see a little monitor that's right here that's helped me drive drive forward and backwards. Mm -hmm. um, I got a rear view mirror. And then I got, I, I instead, so Matt has electronic control of the arms. I actually have manual manual control over the tracks and the legs and the torso twist. Have you thought about you know doing a VR setup for the driver in the back? Uh, we we have thought about that, and uh, we can show you our concept art where there's like gimbaled cameras on fixed positions. Yeah, it could be pretty cool. Um, 
we kind of want we want the gunner in the front to be that like right now you can see this is open grate. Mm -hmm. So part of the idea is that like the gunner might get slimed Nickelodeon style when yeah. you get hit by a, a paintball. So it's like the person who's actually shooting should be the guy on the line for getting shot. Yeah, if, if you, <laughs> I mean, I, I could see a situation where a real passive aggressive relationship develops between the driver and the gunner. That's that's one of the team dynamics we hope to capture beautifully. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Guy. Uh, if people want to find out more, where can they find you all? Uh, Megabots.com. Our most active social media is Facebook right now, but we also have Twitter and Instagram. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And we'll have more uh, at Maker Fair 2015 from Tested. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Just go ahead and put them on the cockpit. Okay. And, uh, okay. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't press the triggers. I'm not going to press the triggers. Right. That's super cool.